Hey guys, Rich Gage 20 here, and I'm coming back with some Overwatch. Uh, we're going to be playing Junkrat today, and unfortunately, I have to tell you that this is a post recording. I wanted to do every single one of these recordings absolutely live and uh, up in person, but unfortunately, I just did not have the time to just sit and record the whole time. So unfortunately I had to I have to do post commentary for the rest of the open beta, but you know, I hope you enjoy it all the same. And as you can see here I'm demonstrating the different abilities of Junkrat. He shoots these just grenades, they explode on contact or explode over time. He has this little trap thing there. If you step onto it you're gonna be stuck. You won't be able to move and there's a bomb that you can blow up. You can just throw it at people to blow them up for damage and knock them around. Or, as I'm about to show here in a second, you can throw it and use it to rocket jump pretty far. And that's pr uh, and his ult, he throws down this rip tire. At least that's what he calls it. It's like the rest in peace tire, I believe is the joke. Don't quote me on that. Uh, it's that little tire that you've probably seen in my other videos too. That just it, it's rolls over to an enemy target and then you activate it and it blows up. And can pretty much one shot anybody. I think the only case where it might not is maybe Roadhog and uh, and Reinhardt if he has his shield up and it blows up in front of his shield. I think that'll stop it. People can also kill it because it only has like 100 health but they have to I mean, they have to kill it before it gets to you. So we are on attack today. We're trying to attack a point and I am just trying to peck as much damage as physically possible from afar because that's what uh, that's what Junkrat excels at. He is he's really good at uh, kind of whittling people down before you guys push him. That's why he is more of a defense character, even though he does the damage of an offense character, as you can clearly see. Now this guy did manage to get around the corner, but shoot him right in the face with a grenade. Fucking dead. <laughs> That's all that matters. Oh. And then, uh, I don't I don't know if Roadhog and Junkrat are like brothers or partners in crime. I've never really figured that part out. I've heard people say that they're brothers, but they could just be crime lords together or some shit like that. I don't know. Now that Roadhog did try to kill me, but uh, <laughs> I got a lucky shot in his face before he could get a lucky shot in my face, and I ended up thinking I had to wait for some health. Notice that my team is capturing the point, but may put down her ultimate. I did not want to get into that. Like, there's no reason to willingly and knowingly walk into a male. But I realize at this point, I'm pretty sure only Torbjorn is around here to defend this point. So I'm just going to make his life a little bit miserable while I'm trying to take the point since he is not on the point to stop me. Roadhog, of course, shows up because, you know, why wouldn't he? But he stood, stands still long enough to get sniped in the back. And the rest of my team shows up and can take out space here on Torbjorn here and they start moving that payload and I'm seeing snipe shots so I assume this is a sniper on the enemy team I don't know if we have one on our team that yeah I'm pretty sure that's just a, a, a Widowmaker on the other team yeah yeah there's a Widowmaker on the other team I'm just trying to shoot some nades down there soften them up then I notice I got my ultimate let's see what damage we can do with this bad boy I'm I think this one gets destroyed. Nope. No, yeah, it got destroyed. Don't know how, but it got destroyed. And uh, May circled around and killed me in the fucking back. Cause she's, she's an ass. There's two people I don't really care for in this game. Uh, <clears throat> one of those is May, and the other one is... Um, Bastion. I don't care much for Oh god. <laughs> I do get hooked, but I also trapped him. Using all my abilities in a haze of panic, I do manage to <laughs> do enough damage to take the road on down. Yeah, it's great. Um, I don't like May and I don't like Bastion, but I like them on my team. I do like playing May, but I hate playing against May because she's bullshit. <laughs> She can just choose to freeze you again and again and again, and if you don't get an instant headshot, there's nothing you can do about it. That's kind of cheap. <laughs> That's kind of really fucking cheap, though she is a lot of fun to play, and I do enjoy playing her. Bastion, I'm kind of feel the same way about, except for him, it's not the utility. 
Uh, Ham's just, he does too much damage in Siege Mode, in my opinion. And it's really hard to, uh... I mean, I just, I just... I feel like it, he's just... I don't like him. You know, I like when he's on my team because he's so, like, overpowered, in my opinion, right now. Uh, that it's like, okay, we got Bastion. He's gonna be able to defend a point for, like, ever. As long as we distract him, he just kills them in, like, three shots. Or at least, like, one second, if not .5 seconds. He can kill anybody, even a tank. Uh, way too much fucking damage, in my opinion. I feel he needs to be nerfed, and I don't even like playing him. Because, I don't know, I can't seem to use his ult right to, like, everyone kills people in one to two shots with their, uh, with, with his ult. I, I'm, I swear I'm hitting people with dead fucking center, it doesn't kill them, but it's neither here nor there. Junkrat, I do throw this tire into here, activate it a little too early, I did not think they knew my tire was coming in, I didn't think they saw it. But, uh, they did. And so he put up a shield, and obviously, as I mentioned earlier, he can't really get through that shield. I chose to knock that Reinhardt around, but because the rest of my team was kind of in front of me, he did not use his ult to kill me. Get sniped. Not exactly. I, I, I kind of I looked at that one in that angle. I don't think she possibly could have sniped me, but that's okay. Some people get those lucky shots. I've gotten them once. And we just continue. Onward, I noticed that half my, my whole team, besides me and maybe one other person, is dead. So all I can do at this point is maybe stay back, wait for them to get back to life, and then take a few pot shots at them. Armor over <sighs> I think he threw some armor back there, but I didn't get it. I didn't notice him saying that. I thought he was just doing something. I just noticed May's voice, but I apparently didn't notice it here. I think I assumed she was in front of me. But right now, I'm trying to take out that pesky ass Bastion, because fuck Bastion. And with uh, Junkrat, you can bounce shots, you know, off the wall to do damage. And you don't have to be in, in view of dying. So that's kind of a nice thing. I figured uh, Bastion was going to notice I had low health and was going to come after me. But I saw that he got eliminated on my target because he was the only person I hit. So I figured we're safe. And I was going to come out here and start trying to peck some more damage from afar. That is what Junkrat excels at. And when you get really good aim on him, you can uh, you can kill people right in front of you very easily as well. You just gotta not miss those little balls, otherwise <laughs> you're, you're pretty much dead. So I was gonna go around... Where is the sensor? Ah, uh, it's over here. Uh, I was gonna go around and uh, try to find the Bastion, because I heard him somewhere and I figured I'd go try to assassinate him. As it turns out, oh, right in the face. I <laughs> got my little mine off in the face. As it turns out, he, I, I got sniped instead, so I decided, nah, he's not worth He's too dangerous to try to get to. And since I noticed we almost won, that would have killed him, by the way. <laughs> since I almost noticed we almost won, I decided to, uh... I decided to just use my ult to see if I could pick anyone off the last second, maybe help my team push in. But, again, to kind of go to the Bastion is way too fucking overpowered right now. Uh, if anyone plays Bastion and sometimes Torbjorn in any game, they're almost always the play of the game. I'd say 75% of the time, if there's a Bastion on the team, usually through a whole game, they're the play of the game. Anyways, we did manage to win that one. It was a very, very nice, solid victory. Oh god. That was the first game we played with Junkrat. We're about to load into the next one here. But as you can see, you got silver on everything. Did quite well. Well, not everything. It, you know, it didn't do give me objective kills, but it's kind of hard to do unless you're sitting on the, on the uh, third itself. This one is actually not going to be a payload. Uh, I think I joined in at the end of the two match session. And so now we are defending on a new non payload map. And as you can see, just defend. All, I mean, I know Torjorn and Bastion was designed for defend, but they're in every single game. Like Bastion, I see them in every single match. I'm sick of Bastions. I'm so sick of them to the point where every time I see them, I switch to Widowmaker and just make their life a living hell by sniping them again and again. I'm, I don't know if you can tell. I hate Bastions. <laughs> I really hate Bastions. Perfect 
Uh, but anyways, back to the game at hand. On the way to our next defense point, I like to just fuck around. I like to shoot random objects, practice my accuracy. And uh, just goof around on the way over to the defense. Because when you're not a defense character... I made it! Uh, when you're not a defense character... Like, you know, Torgorn or Symmetra, where you need to set up and you need all those 60 seconds. You kind of just sit around like, okay, anytime. Oh, that's a good spot. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember this. So I was determined <laughs> to wait Shots here potential. for somebody to fall into that trap because they're kind of hard to see. They're not as obvious to the enemy team. They blend in a little bit. And I was like, I'm going to get them hooked take one shot at him and fire my thing, kill Squishy instantly, he was trying to warp around, and uh, spoiler alert, no one came through here, so, <laughs> uh, it would have been a sick play if it, if it worked, <laughs> but uh, yeah, either they saw it and they were like, nah, fuck that, or what? For a second there, I thought Zyra, or Zarya, not Zarya, I always think Zyra is a little bit sad. I thought Zarya saw me, or one of them saw me, and they were about to come in and kill me from afar. So I like, got really close to that wall. But uh, yeah, none of them decided to go through this little uh, nook and cranny here. Good to know. <laughs> but I did not wait there for so long to where I wasn't helping my team and wasn't effective. Eventually I figured that, yeah, probably nothing's going to happen. And right here, I figured, yeah, they're not coming. So let's get back to our team so we can actually... Help us out and try not to die in the process. And attempt to not die in the process. I just got the hell out of there. I noticed someone was taking their points, so I was gonna just try to take a few shots at him. I'm getting killed by someone. I don't know. I, I kind of see who was shooting at me, but someone was shooting at me, and then he got just directly hit by a rocket, so I had to back off. I couldn't really do much to help lock down this point. Five health left. I managed to find Omega. Get in a 1v1 fight against Zarya. I think I probably did more damage to myself than she did. But trying to take a close range tank with a long range character just did not work. Soldier 76 reporting for duty. Boom, punch that <laughs> punch that face. Or boss. That. So at this point I realize there's absolutely nothing we can do to stop them from taking that point. I mean they got it, they just wiped us out. So now we got a standard eight minute defend. Usually it's eight minutes when you did not do very well defending the point. Uh, usually uh, eight minutes to eight and a half minutes is what I see all the time. Not undefendable, but especially on this map, this map's actually pretty pretty easy to defend on. But it definitely makes things a lot harder. <laughs> but pretty much if you manage to not just get bum rushed to the next point, uh, and your whole team stays around to defend that point, you can actually last for at least another the couple minutes and not just lose instantly. But usually when it's a five minute defense, it doesn't last very long after that. <laughs> Did I say five minutes, eight minutes, or three minutes? I don't remember what I just said there. Very nice. <laughs> As you can see, that trap there putting in work. As I mentioned before, the traps them and then they cannot move. I think it also does a little bit of damage to them. And so you can just take free shots to the body. One or two will do and two for just about everybody, and they will be done. Oh, those. That they had two people down there. I figured maybe I can get to them. And I could. <laughs> so took out two of their people. And <laughs> I just uh, BM'd a little emo there too. Just to show up because I knew I was going to be post recording this. And I was just like, fuck yeah, did you see that 200% damage double kill? I think I die here. Do I die here? No, this one I waited out. There was another one where it didn't wait out. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I feel like he flew into my tra my trap there and didn't finish the rest damage. I actually did not see that. Even watching it back again, I still did not see what happened to that guy. I feel like he got pushed by my bombs into my trap and died that way. I don't know. One interesting thing that you can do with a uh, junk rat to try to stop 
uh, Fera ulting. What a lot of people do is they will throw the explosive mine out and it, it would just trigger it in the middle of uh... Oh nice. Got that. Yeah, she, she showed up and was like, I'm gonna get her, but there's uh, two snipers, so... Forbes, I have to check, I'm like, well, two Widowmakers? Yeah, two Widowmakers. Uh, but yeah, you can throw it up at her in the air and then uh, you push the right click button to make it activate whenever you want it to activate. I did not mention that before. And you blow her up, uh, you make it so you time it perfectly so it blows her up in the air. And I think it will push her either out of her ult or, you know, do hopefully enough damage to kill her. So there you go. A little pro Junkrat dip. Now, I, I like Junkrat. I like him a lot. I don't play him all the time. Actually, uh, he's probably on one of my list of top or uh, top of least played characters in the game. I died instantly there, so I didn't have time to respond to that. But luckily, the rest of my team uh, took her out. But yeah, I, I like him, but I just don't play him very much because. Uh, <clears throat> what was uh, I didn't play it very much because like, I have an understanding of him and while this is an open beta before, which I mean today it closes, I don't know if it's already closed or if it's closing tonight at midnight, usually they like to close their betas early in the morning so I assume it's already closed but I, you know, I'm almost, yeah, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to get really good with, at least get a good saw handle on everybody and playing, like second time I played Junkrat, it's like, okay, I understand this character, I can play this character, no problem. Um, no problem at all. So I haven't given him much love or attention because I already have pretty good control over him and how to play him. So I noticed he was like bugging out here and I tried to see if I could hit her, but it, just, it was weird and it didn't work. <laughs> but then I thought about throwing the, the mine on her a second too late, see if I could blow her up from, uh, from just bugging out through the wall. Or through the floor ceiling, but uh, didn't didn't work that way. <laughs> or I didn't think fast enough, so I just like if I even if I put it down, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna work very well. So now I'm just trying to shoot some uh, shoot some uh, angle bombs down there. I'm keeping my uh, trap up there is to help out uh, Torbjorn just in case someone tries to come in behind him being a more you know supportive defensive role that I actually you know supposed to be with this character because uh, he is on the defense not offense but he seems to work exactly like a uh, nice still got it I thought that was going to get shut down uh, he tends to be more of an offense damage kind of person but because his range is very, say, because he's ranged, <laughs> and his range is very hard to deal with, uh, to get to get used to, you know, because you gotta either have the bomb explode near them or on them. So that means you have to actually really aim. And I feel like that kind of makes him more of a defensive character by nature. I don't know. But right now, there's a sniper near me. And it's because she, she kind of took a shot at me there when I jumped by. But luckily, there was an armor packet there, so I'd have enough health. And right there, I was just trying to see if I could angle it well enough to get at the uh, get at the sniper. But she was not where I thought she was. Then I should notice here, eventually, that someone's contesting the point. I have kind of recognized that now, and I'm just trying to kill them from afar. And I guess. I <laughs> guess they have two snipers. Uh, not, not the easiest <laughs> of times when you're jumping around against two snipers. <laughs> the Reinhardt is doing a good job trying to uh, trying to shield this from the snipers and all the damage. He did actually do a really good job in this match. See, I saw that sniper there, and I saw Reinhardt put a shield down, so I was like, no thank you, because you can see she's gunning for me pretty hard. Could also have been going for the Zenyatta that was there, but she was, she wanted me. <laughs> Let's just say that. This bomb's for you. 60 seconds, 
So with only 60 seconds remaining, I figured I'd stand around here and try to pick off some people. Didn't go as well as I would hope it would. Didn't land a single one of those rockets. Now I'm putting that up again to defend that that uh, that point so that in case someone did come up there like that 76 I was shooting at you a little bit ago, I would be able to deal with it. I saw Zenyatta give me the health orb, so I was like, I'll stick around. Should be able to heal me up enough. And I don't see a good target to use my ult on, and I want to save it for when they go for their final push kind of thing, which you can kind of see them coming in now. And with only 13 seconds, I think I'm a might. Yeah, I'm shooting at the sniper at the moment. Uh, and there's Soldier 76 up there. I kill him, and then I decide to use my ult because it's only two seconds, just in case there's anyone on the point that was at. In fact, nobody on the point except for the. Uh, Widowmaker decided to rush at last second, and I was able to take her out. <clears throat> now, once I mentioned, as you know, his last game, Bastion was the player of the game. This game, Torbjorn. Usually, when there's one of those two on a defense attack style map, they will almost always be play the game. Because all they have to do is sit down a turret or themselves in a really good spot. And just sit back and watch it kill everything. <laughs> I mean, that's that's all it's got to do. So that was pretty much, uh, I was a junk rat in a nutshell. Um, I went 11-4, I believe, if that's just, the, I think that was just that match, 11-4. Uh, Quite a bit of damage done, not too bad, and I hope you guys enjoyed.